What's up, guys? Help us reach our goal of 500 subs by hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, like, comment, and share. What's, What's up, guys? guys? What's up? Today we're going to do episode two, two of Project TJ, putting the one tons on it. Uh, we're going to finish welding all this up. But first, but first, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get your Jeep game up. We're trying to build the oh. Jeeps up and we show you guys how, so join that channel for lots of Jeep stuff. If you're already a subscriber, you already know what's up. Thank you guys. Hell yeah. All right. All right. So what we got here is we got this thermometer, digital thermometer, laser shooter from Harbor Freight. I don't know. Would you pay for it? I paid $11, 11 for it. 11 bucks. Because they had it mismarked. Okay, so before you weld to your differential or your pumpkin, you're going to have to get the temperature up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 204.444 Celsius, because we don't know how to change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. I'm sure you guys could probably figure it out if you pick one of these up. All right, so we got to heat this differential up to 400, like we said. And to do that, we got three propane tanks here. It'd probably be better if you had a big torch or maybe you use map gas or something, but we already had this, so we're going to use propane because, well, to be honest with you, it's a lot cheaper. So we're going to use this propane tank. We're going to heat this up, use the digital thermometer to make sure we're around 400 degrees before we weld the truss onto the pumpkin differential. Let's get it. All right, guys, so Jamie just welded this up. I um, think we're going to be pretty good now. We're going to clean it up, get the axle spun back over, and then we're going to show you guys how we're going to get all our angles for everything else. All right. All right. Now Jamie's heating it up right here between the axle two where it enters the diff, and he's going to weld that up so he can't spin or anything. Even though he probably can't spin anyway because it's welded here and there. Oh, I figured out how to switch it. Oh, we figured out how to switch it. All right, so if you do get this digital thermometer thing, you can switch it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Guys, remember, if you didn't catch part one, to click right here, and you can see part one. So if you use a propane torch, you're going to be sitting here a long time heating this thing up to get it up to temperature. But he's got the truss welded on except for the top. We're about to weld on the top. So a lot of heating and a lot of welding.
that sucks. A gun broke on the welder. The spring in there broke off on the tip. Damn, I should hunt. <laughs>